and welcome back to this next episode in this Amazon Lily series. The colors have changed on our island today and that is because we are hunting mushrooms. I've been doing a lot of brainstorming and thinking and planning for this island off screen. And I've decided rather than making a lot of this island just a regular jungle, we're going to be recreating a lot of the scenes from the Amazon Lily arc. And what better way to continue kicking off this series than recreating the scene that's like one of the first scenes in Amazon Lily for One Piece. The part of the story where Luffy unknowingly eats all of these poison mushrooms and uh, gets very sick. But in order to do that, we need lots and lots of mushrooms, hence the mushroom hunting today. All right, we've got our area. We've got some mushrooms, not a ton, but that's okay. We have a lot of mushroom items that I've been ordering over time. So I think we're going to drop all of these here and then go grab some trees, some bamboo and start framing our area. Okay, trees have been acquired. This is my favorite, favorite way to start building any area just because trees have so much height. It's just so much easier to base everything around the trees rather than like fitting in the trees later, at least for me. I did also splurge some nook miles and I got a sand path so we can put down coconut trees. I think that'll also look pretty good. The coconut trees have such big leaves too. It's gonna fill in so much area. It's so nice. All right, I'm liking this so far. We've got this area completely surrounded by trees, except for the cliffs in the back, which I think we're just gonna add some water terraforming in. I think that's gonna look really nice. Let's pick up all these items and start throwing stuff down. I grabbed a few of these super mushrooms in different colors, so we're gonna try and plop them down to make it look like there's more mushrooms. We're gonna squeeze a small mushroom platform back here. I want the smaller mushrooms to be more like accessible on the ground around this area just because like Luffy was grabbing all of the mushrooms in this like scene in one piece. He was grabbing them off all the ground so I think it makes sense to have them a little more accessible. The space back here looks a little empty so let's try and fill this in. Amazon Lily was definitely a really good arc to watch. I wouldn't call it one of my favorite just because there's so many more emotional and meaningful arcs. Um, not that it wasn't emotional and meaningful, I mean it definitely was. I think honestly one of my favorite parts and don't like judge me for this, okay. One of my favorite parts of the Amazon Lily arc in One Piece is the romance slash like friendship that's between Boa Hancock and Luffy. I love that she's like so, I don't even know how to describe it. She's just so hilariously presented as a villain like in the beginning and then all of a sudden now she's like falling head over heels for this like person that is made of rubber. I just, I don't know. I think it's a really, really cute relationship that the two of them have and I'm so excited to like see her return eventually because I fully believe that she is going to return eventually. I have to believe it for me because otherwise I'll be just too sad. Okay, probably the rudest thing a villager could do to me right now is sit where I'm building. We're gonna go ahead and start adding in some custom pathing. The space in the middle looks definitely way too empty. I wanted to leave a space in the middle just so we could like walk around again like I said in the last video. It's really really frustrating to me when someone makes this beautiful gorgeous build and you can't walk around in it. It's so frustrating. We're gonna make sure that there's some pathing in the middle here. I kind of want to have different sections and different areas for builds. So there's gonna be like slightly more open areas like this, followed by some pathing going through transition areas. I think that's gonna look really nice. Going back to One Piece though, definitely if somebody asked me like, hey, what's your favorite pairing in One Piece? I would say Luffy and Boa Hancock all the way. Don't get me wrong, I love the Sanji and Nami dynamic, but I really do just, I believe in Boa Hancock. She is just amazing to me. She's awesome. Plus, she and her sisters have such an endearing and like heartfelt story behind them. Like the fact that they were slaves that were rescued by that guy. I also grabbed this like mario shell because there's a lot of animals in this jungle so i figured we just throw it in to pretend like it's one of the jungle animals just like 
Just an animal, nothing to worry about here. I've also got just a couple bush starts left over from the last build, so we're gonna throw them in these back areas to fill the bottom. I kind of want this to be like super crowded, super lush with lots of vegetation, you know, because it's, it's a jungle. You gotta have plants in a jungle. We're gonna hide some items back here so that when you're standing at, like, at different angles, it's gonna look like, wow, look, there's, there's an item back there. It's so full, it's so detailed, wow. We're gonna go back through now and just pop down some more custom designs that are like detailing, so not really a path necessarily, just like some details to make it look a little more full. We also have lots of weeds to go back through this area, so fear not if you are a weed lover. Don't think about that too. Don't think about that too much. <laughs> I think we are gonna do a little waterscaping over here, so I'm gonna add a paddle, just in anticipation of the waterscaping back there. I kind of want every single surface to be covered with something, uh, which is not usual for me in Animal Crossing. Usually I'm like, let's spread everything out to make it look like nice and open and spacious, but not today. Not today, Animal Crossing. Let's go see what we have in our home storage to maybe spruce up the area a little bit more. Oh, also, uh, update since last time, I did redecorate my house a little bit. Now it is less disgusting and stress-inducing to look at. So that's exciting. Let's go up on this cliff and just do that water terraforming that I talked about. I'm genuinely not sure if we're going to keep these cliffs here or not, which is why I wasn't planning on decorating this area. But I think now that we're here, we're just going to do it anyways. We'll make space for a mushroom platform in here. Another shell at the top. And now let's go in and add some custom designs. And now weeds. Weeds is the answer to everything. Okay, this area looks pretty solid, I think, so far. I think this middle area might be too open for me, actually. I know I said before I want it open, but maybe not this open. So we're gonna try and place a few items directly in the middle of this path to see if we can make it feel a little less open. Moss ball? Moss ball! Okay, it's good. We did it. Let's do a final walkthrough slash recreate the scene that Luffy ate all the mushrooms in. Are you ready? Cause I'm not. Here we go. Wow, it sure feels lonely in this jungle that I've never been in before. Hey, aren't these laughing mushrooms? Great, that's just what I need right now. Om nom 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 nom. Yeah ha 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 Now I'm having fun, even though I'm all alone. Let's eat even more mushrooms. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Uh oh. Now I don't feel so good. Blah. Well, that is it, folks. I am so sorry that I just made that scene. Clearly, I am not an actress. Despite Angus being rude the entire time, I had a lot of fun with this build. I tried as best as I could with the items that I had to put mushrooms everywhere. Stay tuned for next time as we keep shaping this island into a recreation of the very popular, very famous One Piece series. Stay tuned for the next episode in this Amazon Lily series where we'll tackle more of building and recreating scenes from the One Piece series and shaping this Animal Crossing island into something that hopefully pays homage well enough to Oda Sensei who was the best ever and thank you so much Oda for doing everything you do. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. I've been reading all your comments and it brings a smile every time I read them. All right, now I'm gonna end the video so Angus and I can have a long, long talk. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.